Melikul Wan Nami Frikwali. Technically, I'm the king and I'm here to speak. According to a report by Panamersia, that's what the Olmec king at the time said to them. When they instituted an exploration on the lands of the Olmecs during the reign of King George II, the Olmec king continues, Oluma, Oluma, Olusiye Guma, Oluma Kubisa Abima, Sumuba Abisa Abima, Sibina Abuma, Olugushi Mabushi, Omenya Anuma, Omenya Anu Oluma, Sea Sand, Sea Sand, the sea gives us sand. We do many things with our sand. This is what we do with our sand. We build with our sand. The sea is for us. The sand is for us. God gave us the sea. God gave us the sea sand. They were once their calm people, as many went there to pray. According to a detailed report by Pan Mercia, they are substitutes of the modern people claiming ownership of lands beyond their territory. In his detailed report, he indicates he spoke to the king of the Olmecs with a K attached to the predominant word, Oluma, which means sea sand in Olmec language. In 1942, people sought for the Olmecs and their prowess in cultivation of lands and masonry. Pan Mercia, a historian and excavator, during the rulership of King George II, became the only person who knew where the Olmecs have always been in the modern era. Many people came to realize the prowess of the Olmecs in lands and masonry, when people began cultivating lands and building structures to emanate what the Olmecs had already done. This allowed the British monarch to do an excavation on the lands that Olmecs have already explored, and a detailed report on them in ancient documents. Years after Pan Mercy had instituted a preliminary exploration on these Olmec lands, people began to explore the project, finally. Many years after, people became highly curious in salvaging more information on these lands of the Olmecs. They became highly focused on the preliminary details brought to them by Pan Mercia. These made people more curious about what the Olmecs did in the past 